Kristen Tatar broke her rib and is not going to make the trip back over to the United States to play Portland and play the Beaver State Fling. I believe the next tournament she's going to play in is the Krokel Open in Norway, but that's quite some time, Nate. Yeah, that's a that's a freak accident, as Kristen says here, and I just can't imagine what it takes to fall on your side, break a rib, and we know how tough she is. She really hasn't faced a lot of injuries that have taken her out of competition in the past, so it, it must be really preventing her from, you know, throwing and... You know, it could also be precaution to not go all the way back over here and the rib is just enough uncomfortable to keep her from playing at a high level. But really what I want to what I want to talk to you about here, Brian, is, you know, Tatar still the clear number one player in the FPO division for the other players in that division. Is it at all an asterisk when she or anybody wins when Kristen is not there like yeah. Ella just won this past week at OTB this was before Kristen's injury like what do you think about that is Ella thinking about hey Tatar's not in the field uh, are the fans thinking about like hey would have would she have beaten Kristen at you know she played pretty high level what are your thoughts on that topic there I, I have a few first off it's sports they're gonna say everything under the sun they're always gonna have an opinion that's what spectating sports is all about we mm -hmm. love to take these things in take these moments open up the conversations in our own home that's what we're here for nate we're here to be judged just as much as the other players out there on the disc golf course the one thing i will have to say it's not an asterisk it's absolutely not she didn't show up Kristen was not at the tournament mm -hmm. part of sports is persistence mm -hmm. and showing up and giving yourself an opportunity to win jeremy Colling won the usdgc tournament was cut around short because of a hurricane are we are we going to say that that has an asterisk next to it no he was the leader they canceled the tournament after three rounds and he got the major championship he beat everybody else under the same conditions yeah and kristen had the opportunity to play this tournament and she didn't and you know what mm -hmm. we're not going to say oh kristen's not there none of these other players have talent like you know that that's not true yeah. and look at the weekend of golf that ella put together she averaged over a thousand i believe a thousand five was the weekend average it's high level. That's that's how it's been every other weekend here on yep. the Disc Golf Pro Tour, minus, I believe, one weekend. So, no, <laughs> I can't wait to see all of them back together fighting mm -hmm. it out and, and battling for these victories. But I will never take away an Elite Series win mm -hmm. from a player because one player isn't there. Like, sometimes they joke about it. I remember Own after Ledgestone last year joking, oh, Tatar's not yeah. here. Thank God. I'm so happy that she's not here. Good for our wallets when yeah, Tatar's not here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But... <laughs> I, I don't know, Nate. I, yeah. You have to show up. And also, like, rib injury or not, injuries are part of sports. Mm -hmm. And we can't just say, oh, well, they were injured. Your win doesn't mean as much. Mm -hmm. I, I love that. I, res I respect that answer immensely, Brian. And, you know, we, we can't compare it to other sports. We just had our producer talking about the Boston Cel Celtics, how this year, if they go on to win the championship, that it's going to have an asterisk because Jimmy Butler was injured at the Miami Heat. And because – uh. Giannis wasn't playing with Milwaukee, but in golf, to me, it feels slightly different because we it is a single sport. It's not a team effort thing. And I know whether or not the fans or anyone wants to say, hey, it was an asterisk for Ella. It will be at Portland at Beaver State for whoever takes that down. Whether or not it is from the outside looking in, I feel like inward, the, the champions of those events are still going to be thinking like, what's going to happen the next time I play Kristen? That's how much weight I feel like she still Definitely. is carrying through this division is like, what's going to happen at Worlds? Like, how do I find this confidence when Tatar is back in the mix here? Mm -hmm. So it, I still think it's going to have some bit of pull on whoever wins these next two tournaments. Well, and I, I have to say with, with a broken rib, I hope Kristen rests as long as she needs to rest to get back into the game. This is a rotational sport and a broken rib is miserable. Uh, I, I, I think anybody out there who's dealt with a broken rib can know how painful it is, even just breathing, Nate. And with how much breathing matters in our sport, how much time there is in between to sit with yourself and your thoughts, you have to be healthy, especially with yeah. your ribs. So take care, Kristen. We cannot wait to see you back here. Sad to see uh, you have to stay over there in Europe, but please, please get some rest.